look at Misty Crosland. She just can't stop talking. Out to Jean Casares, legal correspondent in session. I understand Crosland has now answered up to two more charges. What are they? That's right. In court, formal arraignment, the two charges are trafficking prescription drugs. It makes a total of eight counts. Her bail remains at $1.35 million. Why does she keep talking about getting out of jail? What planet is she from? It's her whole focus, Nancy. It's the whole focus on almost every conversation. It started with the income tax refund check could help get her out. Now she's on to Leonard Pavia. A lot of the tapes now were saying, call Leonard, get Leonard, have him get me out. But she's got her deal that she wants met. She wants a contract. She wants him to get her out. Then she'll talk to him, and she definitely doesn't want him to revoke her bond, as she says was done in the Casey Anthony case by Leonard Padilla. Now, wait a minute. Jane Casares, what do you mean she wants a contract? She wants a contract. She wants in writing that he will pay the money, he will get her out, and there's confidentiality, that he'll never say anything to anybody, and then she says she'll talk to him. Okay. Joining us right now via Skype, Leonard Padilla, the man of the hour again, bounty hunter out of California, <laughs> offered to bail Misty Carlson out of jail. This is Act 2 for Padilla. He bonded out top mom Casey Anthony, and her behavior when he got her out of jail was stunning. It's like she didn't have a care in the mo- world. She was more worried about, am I having chili for dinner than anything else? He was there, or his employees were there in the home watching her. Padilla. How do you get into this? And what do you think about Miss Misty's terms for you to get her out of jail? Well, I think we got into this back on uh, the 11th of February of last year when we actually went uh, to Satsuma and talked to a lot of these people uh, when we were back down to Casey Anthony uh, situation. And uh, we spent about four or five days there. So we met all the players at that time. I even sat sat on a chair uh, next to Ron Cummings while he was talking to uh, the public on your show. And we we talked about this thing. Some of the people that were with me talked to uh, some of the other players in the the whole situation. And we knew them from back there. And I think what developed was when uh, Bill Stout uh, started talking about bailing uh, her out, one thing and another. And the next thing is I got a phone call from somebody asking if I was involved in bailing her out. And what I said is that I would pay for the bond. Uh, given certain uh, stipulations. And uh, then I gave up the situations to her attorney, and I've not heard anything back from him. Well, I'm looking at her right now. Out to you, Art Harris. She looks stoned out of her gourd. Does she always look like that? I well, mean, I'm just seeing video. Maybe she looks differently, different in person. I have never seen, we have never seen a Misty like this, just obsessed with one thing, really orchestrating Herself. not only yeah, not only the drug deals, she drives shotgun in every sale, Nancy, but in the jail, telling her parents, ordering them to call Leonard Padilla. Do this now, now. Well, she is well, wait, insistent. I, I, I'll tell you what took the cake for me, the final straw for me. You can't tell me she was at home that night and does not know what happened to that girl. All right, read, that's what this is all about. If, but then trying to get her mother to put a second mortgage or a She was wanting the mother to lose her house payment to get her out of jail after I can see her with my own two eyes doing drug sales. And she doesn't care.